to kill this ruined dude and then do some other stuff. I don't see how quickly do we actually get access in Azuma after we finish this story quest, this world quest. I'm pretty sure we have to do this world quest before we can unlock Inazuma. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. At least you now know that she is still on this world at this time. The most important thing is the journey. Yes. And this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. You and Venti say a lot of the same stuff. You find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. I think this guy is actually like the equivalent of Lumine's Paimon. If that makes sense. Only for now. Don't worry. After all, I did take 500 Mora and those three answers you gave me. Okay. So... Do we get... Yeah, what does happen now? Involuntary sacrifice. Cannot... We can't do this quest because Lan is busy competing the Adventurer's Guild's affairs. So I need to complete the Adventurer's Guild's affairs before we can advance on to the next Archon quest, and I think the Archon quest is only unlocked after Dansby. So I guess we gotta go kill a Stonehide Lava Churl? Whatever. Sure. Seems kinda random, but... <laughs> we cannot advance the story quest and kill till we kill a, a Stonehide Lava Churl, you know? <clears throat> We have, we, have, we have to be the, the change we want to see in the world or something, I don't know. There's just this dude, he's just out here chilling. He's not threatening anything. Oh, he looked at us. He looked at us and that made us pause and flying. Now he's angry because we attacked him. He was fine before. I don't know why this was necessary. Wait, did he just get destroyed? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what was that cat? <laughs> we just explode a cat. We have to bring Ash back to land. This is important. This is important. We can't go to Inazuma until we return this cat. No Inazuma until cat returning duty is done. Okay. Is that Ganyu? Hi, Ganyu. Yes, yes. They have the audacity to go after anything. Seven dragons, gods, no ancient artifact that remains can escape their greedy ambitions. Cats? Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? What? Oh, the traveler. <laughs> So I think we just procced the the Archon quest as a result of uh, finishing that random cat re returning duty. <laughs> Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. 
just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Leela and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Ah, oh, Raptor! All I remember is he tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. But who's Big Sis of the South? Dude, we've seen her. She hangs out by that one ruin. of the treasure hoarders in Leela. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the god of Thebes even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. No, uh, she definitely has a vision. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? That's quite an impressive sounding title. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide, then. Correct. So, despite being relative big-timers in Leela and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Ra With the major changes in Leela recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs at but anything related to the Abyss make- So, I decided to come to the Adventurers Guild to post a commission. But only if you come with us, Ganyo. I need you in my life. Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. Yeah, we procced the Archon as soon as we turned in that one quest. That's funny. And I'm like, are they talking about the cat? <laughs> no, they were not talking about the cat, but still. In my mind, they were still talking about the cat. Oh, I need to pick up some wave points, don't I? Alright, we have a little bit of flying to do. We'll try to pick up that, uh... It's actually an important domain, that's the Noblesse Oblige... Ob oblige? Noblesse Oblige? I don't actually know if that's correct, but, um... That's the Noblesse uh, dungeon right on the way, so I'm, I'm gonna need that later anyway at some point. Are we supposed to offer food to that Adeptus again? Why would we want to do that? Is there a thing? I don't know if I have the food ready. Maybe I could go cook some. Mm, jewelry soup. Is it just jewelry soup? There's like a bunch of cooking things around here, right? There's one. I, it's so easy to get distracted in this game, but it's like, I, I don't remember this being a thing, so now I'm kind of curious. Paimon said that for a reason, I'm pretty sure. Jewelry soup. There we go. Ooh, I need more tofu soon. Ooh, nice. <laughs> really need... Oh, I have hams. Oh, it's still not enough to make most of this good stuff, though. Whatever. We'll, we'll make a, a stir-fry. 
because I think I'm out of attack food right now. It's probably good for the moment. What happens if we throw some jewelry soup down on this bitch, you know? Get that, I mean, that sounds good to me. I would have jewelry soup. Yeah, I'm gonna visit Cloud Retainer. How you doing, Cloudy? How you doing? It's been, you know, last time we saw you, you were deciding whether you were going to destroy the city and, you know, like, always good to hang out. Okay. Or, uh, I'm sorry, that's in the opposite direction right now. But I'm definitely going to get to that later. Is that, uh, yeah, an Adeptal Summons? Sure. And we get... We don't get blueprints? That's odd. You would think it would give you blueprints, but... Um, I think that quest might have been designed before they started doing blueprints in the teapot, so I guess that would be why. What can this give me right now? Oh, nothing, because I still... It doesn't even unlock until AR-35. Uh, Gambler seems okay. Oh, you can start Noblesse, though. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I have any keys right now. I kind of feel like I don't. I don't think we're going to that island anyway. I think we're going down here? Question mark? Oh yeah, so we are. Call of the Abyss. Is this one of the weirder puzzles? I feel like this is... I feel like this is one of the weirder puzzles. Like, you have to circle around. growing on me, you know? I still need a better weapon for her. I'm gonna work on that soon.
Shaman chest. Baby. Another one. Oh, we have to go past it? Uh, I guess we go down. I've done this dungeon before, but you only do it once, you know, so... It's very easy to forget what exactly you do at any given stage. I guess we don't climb up there, because you can't. Oh, chest. I mean, you should check the pulse, probably, but maybe. Let's get full stamina. If I remember right, we have to just basically charge it. But we can't get past that. Come on, did we not? Oh, we're on the edge. All right, after this one. Yeah, that, I remember that puzzle being super annoying back in the day when I did this the first time. He looks fun. That's what he said. It's just a name, dude. He looks pretty stoppable to me. Oh yeah, this is this is what these guys look like when they're not in uh, the abyss spiral. Ouchies. Oh, 
So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. statue of the seven holding abyssal power in its hands no i have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the abyss though i have had my suspicions tell me the rest of what happened in there so you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal power and then and then as we got close to the exit an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way we fought a big battle with that thing maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet yes this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Let's go! A rare opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss! Need more waypoints, but let's get this uh, geoculus on the way and check if I have a key. I kind of feel like I maybe don't though, so we'll see. Man, I can't believe I've never been out here. Verdict on key is no. But we got the Geo, and I guess we'll go pick up, uh... Oh, there's another one right there. Wow, dang. So many distractions in this game. It's a juicy-looking chest right there, too, but... Already distracted by the shiny Geo Oculus, and if I... Everything that distracts me, I'm never gonna remember what the heck I'm doing in this game. Oh man, there's chests that way too. Oh, and it's just protected by a single dude or three dudes. That was almost comically bad. <laughs> Those shots were, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Pretty bad. What are you doing out here, Dandy? What? I was gonna get that Geo, but now we have priorities. Is this thing gonna take me way out here? Oh, did we just miss that? Hold on, can we... It doesn't teleport you back? Okay, that, no it does. 
Whoa, but I'm I'm stuck for a minute. All right, let me get the geo first. Wait, am I gonna miss this geo now? Was I supposed to climb a tree or something? Oh my god. The level of disappointment here. Oh, come on. Okay, but if we put it up here? How about that? There we go. Okay. I could go run and make go start working for that next waypoint, but come on, we got a we got a time trial challenge here. I have priorities. Add Astra Abyssosk in the D and D. Be on Amber. She is the gliding champion of Mondstadt. I won't let you down. Better not, Amber. There we go. Made it that time. We're just gonna skip that one. That's a little tricky little thing, isn't it? Boom! Oh, there was a chest right there, though. It's just a common chest! Dandy, what are you doing? Weak. There's a better chest right there, Dandy. You're, you're holding out on me. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go get that other chest now, just to spite Dandy. I do also, oh, there aren't any arrowheads there, are there? I sort of need arrowheads for something. For Amber's talents, I think? Yeah, that's probably it. Damn. Geoboy does some damage when it actually crits and stuff, you know? That's not an arrowhead. You're supposed to give an arrowhead game. Oh well. That was unintentional. I did not see that hole in the ground at all. It's it's fine, I think. It's just that was just really unexpected. I just walked through a hole in the ground. That was that was wild. That's how people die IRL. <laughs> just walking along. Whoops. Dead. It's dudes. And they want killing.
Aren't I on an Archon quest? How can people join world during an Archon quest? Yeah. But would it just kick me out of the Archon quest? I don't even know. That's the target right there, probably, but I'm gonna grab waypoint first. Did I aggro them somehow? Did, I just, did they see me? Did they look in my general direction? Oh, wow. such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were? They look dead, Danes. They don't look disappointed. We just murdered them. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these abyss mages likely fear something else, much more than they do a painful interrogation. He has to justify not conducting torture. That's what the early... Uh celebration of torture in the game from both Lisa and d -Loop does to the nature of the tone of this game. That's really weird. Uh, Alright, we shouldn't waste too much time here. I was like, is it really necessary to teleport 10 feet? But you know what? Why not? Why climb the 10 feet if you can teleport it? That's the real question.
figured out. There's often a bunch of ruin guards roaming around, too. Is that just a coincidence? Or... There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Forget it. Just some needless musings. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name. Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Where did Paimon learn all about this, you know? Like, what do we really know about Paimon? Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm, is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. He already knows something is up, so he doesn't need to ask. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Conria you saw, what was it like? So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your sister from within that meteorite. Like, what? <laughs> I feel like I don't even know what the hell we just summarized. Like, am I missing something here? How did they make this plot even more convoluted? It seems your sister woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your sister told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos. And that you two should leave this world called Tevat? Oh, so this is what happened before we fought the god and got separated? The destruction of Kanria? She said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your sister must have understood this world better than you did because she woke up first. Like, what are we talking about? How is this plot so weird? And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god. Like, it's not even that complicated, but they just have presented it in the most confusing way possible. Understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Lele, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria, so you could find your sister? Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? To the ruins? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation? 
Without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that... 500 years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. So Zhang Li is a genocidal murderer, and so is Venti? The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. Oh well, wait, are, are the Yanomo different than the god? I mean, I, I can't keep the gods of this world straight. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Let's keep moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do we ever talk to Zhang, Zhang Li or Vinti about this? I feel like we kind of do with Zhang Li, and he just basically confirms that, yeah, he, he's a, he, he did some genocide. God, this game almost tried to make me forget about the thing I really wanted here, which was that Shu Oculus. Oh, you didn't, game, you bastard. I don't want to climb that, but maybe, uh... Wait, do I need to climb that? Is that enough? I think that's enough. Oh, I should have, uh... Oh, there's probably things around here. I mean, you can get the chest inside if you destroy the things and then pop up here, but it's just like one normal chest. Maybe on my main I would be really concerned about getting that for completionism, but I don't really care about it on this one. I don't know which teleport is... Actually, this one might be closer. Whoa. No, don't, don't. What are you doing? She kept swinging. She did that third swing even after I stopped clicking attack. I guess I should have dashed actually to interrupt the animation even though I was trying to cancel the attack to not use stamina. There's another chest which I could get for killing one guy but then I'd have to fight that dude probably. Actually, I'm not sure. I maybe I could dodge arrow, but is the game trying to make me feel guilty about not having unlocked like any of this area yet? Because I'm never gonna do a full clear of uh, of every geoculus in the game to unlock this area, which is what you have to do. It's a massive pain in the butt. Over there! It's more ruin guards than abyss mages. Kane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These Ruin Guards were known as Field Tillers by the people of Conria. Field Tillers? What a strange name. It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. So are we in a science fiction universe then? Like, is this just the post-apocalypse? The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? 
blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat, perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time. They found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. That sounds... so sad. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. <laughs> okay. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. This game has a, like a really strong genocidal tendency. Damn, Amber got some airtime with that one. Jeez. As you can see, there was a guy here until I swung at him and hit him. That was crazy. Huh? This abyss face dropped a talisman. <gasps> Could it be a communication of some kind? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the abyss herald. But why would an abyss mage be carrying it? You know what's weird is I feel like I remember the early parts of this game a lot better than I remember this part. I'm not sure if it's because Dane's Leaf is just like kind of a boring character in a weird way, or what. It really does contain information about their operation. Or maybe it's just because this part of the plot is just so confusingly presented. But Byron can't read the writing on it. Oh, <gasps> is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of an enemy in flame, and bring glory to her highness, the princess. What? Is that what it says? Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate-weaving machine? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? Do you mean that god in the ocean? What do they want with Osile? Uh... I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time. You were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. I mean, there was an Abyss Mage when we... It, we kinda didn't know that. Contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osile's body. Mecha Osile. Is that even possible? 
Of course, it's a fantasy universe, dude. Yes. Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god, and the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the seventh is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Yeah! That tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. It seems like a terrible idea. The cathedral. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Ding? Nothing. Let's get moving. Dang, I don't remember. I feel like there's a whole dungeon after this. And I would kinda like to burn some resin real fast on my main. A huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. I feel like Dane is gonna be like the end boss this game. Huh? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. Sure you can, you just respect the holy ground. You... I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone.
how have you been? Do you need anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems he hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? Field tiller. What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost the Statue of the Seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Mm. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dean said outside, it's for your own good. Yes, Paimon. You have to keep your secrets. Other strange stories? Mm, not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm, oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Right! Later, the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvendom, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lucas Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendom. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. M but you're also a member of the clergy. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. I mean, Barbara's in my party. She's one of the core characters, so oh. she could certainly be there. May the animal Archon protect you all. I mean, Venti isn't really... I mean, he does provide some CC, but... have something to do with the defiled statue. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. 
The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. I feel like this is the start of a fight. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I have some resin to burn on this account too, but I'm gonna take a break from this account. Interrupt the quest progression. So I want to burn resin on my main because I want to finish off a talent from my boy, my blue boy. Hopefully, I have 40. I think I should. I want to do this before the day cycle changed the mat that was available. Well, happy birthday, Ningguang. Alright, and then back to traveling into the past and dealing with Dane's life and all that nonsense. Although, yeah, I don't think I'm even going to have stamina recharged any time to get more Mora, which I think is probably what I'm doing with a lot of my stamina. 60 of my stamina tomorrow. On my main, anyway. And probably on this account, too. Except this account resets at a different times, so I, I don't know. Maybe I can just... I don't think I can even make indents. That's the main issue. I need a weekly reset so I can do some uh, DOA quests so I can actually... ...make condensed when I need to.
Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. Every time. There are a lot of enemies around here. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go. I'm not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fuzzy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Snap. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. It's because you're the bad guy. There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dan hate the Seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. And Lila, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas, but the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Dvalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm... That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. kind of feel like Dane is explaining why the Abyss Order could be construed as kind of the good guys. 
or at least not unreasonable antagonists, and um, yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight him by the, before the end of this game. have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lise. Lise. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no. Is this the same thing they did to corrupt Avalon's mind? Wolves never surrender. This can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Bow before the abyss! Go, go, fairy one! No one escapes my sight! Yeah. To dust! Steady as stone. Time to clean up. The climactic battle that ends by having to beat up a single solitary archer. Interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lubakal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial. But, scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I, too, didn't see... the trap. Wait! So you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws... must get sharper. You... smelled danger? And came here? No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the 
the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm, by the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Yes, it could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know. But... Did we help? Yes, you were a big help! Thanks! We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. That was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. <laughs> Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cath- Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mis- Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fight back then. The people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruins. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm. What do you mean? Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. <laughs> Did it right? 
right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The eye of the first field tiller. All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? No. You may doubt me if you wish. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favoni... Oh! But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also... We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. <laughs> Destroy it? That's a statue... Oh. Well... Huh. To the seven... Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky... We will also run into that Abyss Herald. Yeah, this one. This takes a little while. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. some water. Oh dear! Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May I be excused to fetch it in? So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Remember to be on your guard. Except, um, you know, this wasn't here last time. Oh. Yeah, we missed the initial jump, and so it screws you entirely. Thanks, game. Oh, now we died. The per first jump was basically perfect, except 
because the 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 glide thing refuses to work half the damn time. We were just slightly off and it refused to climb because it's a dungeon and they have to like completely disable climbing for reasons or whatever, I don't even know. I wonder if getting this chest means we'll die now too. Nope, looks like we got it. Get very annoyed by Because the first jump was fine, we totally made it, except you know it like we clipped the bottom with our feet. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane Slix, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. So now we fight this guy for the third time. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you. No, Dyne's life is probably corrupted. That wouldn't surprise me even a little bit. Oh, stupid thing missed. Yeah, you beat up Amber's funny. He's gonna do it again. Nope, he doesn't do it again.
launched an attack against the Abyss Herald. Your sister and the Abyss? Ether, why are you with Dane? Uh-huh. Your sister knows Dane? <laughs> Lumine, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows her too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Lumine. <sighs> but it must be said. <sighs> Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Dainsleth, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed five hundred years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? I love that they give Paimon all these lines, like, just to make sure that we're not getting totally lost, but she's just asking, she's just giving exposition indignantly. wherever we are together but i cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home at least not yet until the abyss has engulfed the thrones my war with destiny will see no end but not eternity listen to me ether i have already traveled through this world once once you reach the end of your journey as i did you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. Yeah, I mean, we've established that Vinti and Zhang Li are like genocidal maniacs. So we'll meet again. But we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. Have we had eternity? I thought they were... I, dude, I feel like they're making that so confusing. And Dane is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago! But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But 
If the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. This is all part of Paimon's master plan. If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler, let's go. Autumn Wind Scarlet Leaves available from AR-30, which should be almost immediately unlocked. Because I'm getting air for this, right? I need 600 AR. And we'll have that unlocked. Did that Archon quest actually end? I guess it did, huh? Yeah, so I think this is the start of the Inazuma path. Yeah, pretty sure. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call... Well, no, I'm gonna switch over. Uh, I'm going to take a brief pause, and then I'm going to switch over to my main and uh, do um, the uh, the daily challenge there. So, one second.